What's up guys, it's Gaz, welcome to the Warframe video. So today I'm going to do something completely new. I'm going to be taking some YouTube comments from my previous video and just testing out the things you guys were asking. So um, I know Hildren is a little bit divisive. I personally am not the hugest fan of her just because shields in general are not very powerful in Warframe. They don't take armor into account, um, lots of damage types bypass them, and they just really don't hold up like compared to health. If, if we had a Naros with 4,000 health uh, compared to Hildren with 4,000 shields, a Naros is going to win every time, in my opinion. Um, additionally, I wanted to just point this out, guys. When I mentioned that the build in the last video was an air quotes end game build, uh, that's because I was referring to what I consider end game for myself in this game, which is completing a Kuva flood and then doing Kuva survival um, up to an hour. If you are one of those people that considers end game sitting in a survival for two plus hours to fight level 9999 uh, nine enemies, do not bring Hildren. Bring Octavia bring Necros, bring whatever you need to bring to survive and kill those enemies, but do not bring Hildren. Uh, I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression when I said it was an endgame build. I would definitely not recommend bringing Hildren to uh, two hour plus survivals, for that matter. Okay, so let's quickly get into the first comment. So, the first comment is, well, what does quick thinking do on Hildren? Or how does quick thinking work? So, there is a big problem here with quick thinking on Hildren. And that is that it basically does nothing. So um, we have a Toxic Ancient spawned in here. We're going to show you, because um, toxic, toxic Ancients are going to do a Toxin proc immediately uh, with their special ab ability. So we have Quick Thinking applied. Uh, you would hope that it would actually just start draining your shields instead of your health um, to prevent lethal damage, but that's not actually the case. The Toxic Ancient, level 50, just used his Toxin tech and instantly killed us. So Quick Thinking does nothing, guys. Um, I wish it did something, but that's just not the case. So, yeah, that's the first comment. Let's move on to the next one. That is Arcane Deflection and Arcane Resistance to prevent Toxin procs. Now, that is a good point. It's definitely not the most ideal thing in the world, because those are only 80% chances. But um, let's give that a quick shot against this Ancient. I'm sure the Slash one will work just fine. Um, we're just going to test the Toxin one out right now. Uh, what was in that last slot? Okay, so the one for Toxin, I believe, is called Arcane Resistance, yes. So that's an 80% chance. Um, I believe one of them is a 20% chance, so if we equip two of those, it should be 100% Toxin Resistance. Yep. Oh, that was over... that was Umbral Intensify. Okay. Don't worry, we got plenty of comments we're going to be going over in this video. <clears throat> Alright, so do your thing. And 100% Toxin Resistance. Still died. This is actually news to me. I didn't think it was going to kill us like that, but... Um, yeah, it must just be... Something that can't be avoided by Arcanes. Try it one more time, just to make sure. Yep, got one shot. Through our shield, mind you. So yeah, I don't think I can really recommend that. Um, although it is a very good idea. I, uh, I do wonder if the Worm Sentinel would actually save us there. Let's quickly try that out. Because the Worm Sentinel has the Negate ability, which um, prevents the status effect once every five seconds. Let's quickly try that. Over here. Come on. You can do it. Uh, I think it was trying to do it there. Come on. Okay, so Worm Sentinel seems like it's working. Or maybe that's because we're blocking. We'll let it try it one more time before we move on. Okay, that prevented the knockdown. Use your Toxin Attack, dude. Okay, it does it does not work. The the uh, negate cooldown was up, and we still took the the Toxin Attack. So yeah, that's just going to be a weakness for her, guys. I, I wish they would chain slang with her so she could actually tank those, but she can't. Uh, next one. Uh, have you tried Brief, Respite, Aura, or the full Augur set? It's very important for her. So I did try the Augur set out. Um, brief, brief Respite, if you don't know what this does, guys. Uh, on ability cast, converts 150% of energy spent to shields uh, while overshields are inactive. So... Um, I don't really think that's going to be very useful here. I did try it out, and I didn't really find much value to it. So, since we don't have overshields active currently, if we use our first ability, it does nothing. Use our two, does nothing. Use our 
Three, does nothing. Four, does nothing. So it's not really useful. Uh, it doesn't seem like the auger set really does anything. So yeah, I can't say I'd recommend that one either, guys. Um, I, I would think that the auger set would work. Like, there's a lot of things involving energy that just, like, do absolutely nothing for Hildren. Um, it's kind of a bummer, because it really prevents a lot of mod and arcane choices. So, yeah, that's that one. Let's move on to the next one, which is Aviator. Have you tried Aviator? Yes, I have. I don't think Aviator is super useful for my playstyle, because I don't really value her fourth ability very highly. Um, if you are constantly in her fourth ability because it looks awesome, and I don't blame you, uh, Aviator can be good, because it gives you prevent uh, additional damage reduction while airborne. So, um, that just, yeah, keep in mind, though, that this does absolutely nothing when you're not in the air. Um, unlike Cunning Drift, which would give you additional range, letting you hit more enemies with your four, hitting, letting you hit more enemies with your one, uh, etc. Um, let's quickly give this a shot. We'll put some, uh, some heavy gunners in here instead of this Toxic Ancient. He can just, he's just a bully to, to Hildren. Hildren can't take that. So uh, we'll do the same test as yesterday. I know, guys, level 50, not very high level, but um, she can tank level 160s for a bit. It's definitely not impressive, but it, it is possible. All right, so Aviator. Okay, let's move back a little bit so these guys can actually shoot us. Okay, well, they, they can't really shoot us, so yeah. Get back in the air again. So, I mean, it's really not making a huge difference. A lot of our survivability comes from our, our, our canes at this point. Come on. Also, something I learned last night as well, uh, the higher in the air you are, the larger the radius of the CC on your four. And the lower to the ground you are, the uh, the closer the CC is. So, yeah. Um, I, I can't really see like a noticeable difference right now. We have our adaptation going. And that's giving us 90% DR. Um, but yeah, our shield starting to basically not go down at all, so that's nice. But the real survivability here is coming from the barrier sets. So yeah, really good question. Um, I saw a couple of questions about that in the video. And um, yeah, I definitely think you can use uh, Aviator on her. But um, if you're going to find a lot of use out of it when you're using Adaptation, is a whole other story. Um, there is definitely some flexibility to my build. It's not the only way you can build her at all. Um, but yeah. Let's move on. So we got Death War Power S. Does Energize do anything for her? Uh, so this is a kind of hard one to test, but as far as I can tell, no. Energize does nothing for her. Let's uh, equip Arcane Energize. I don't have a double Energize set. Sadly, I only have a uh, rank three, I believe, or rank one is the second one. But yeah, we'll, we'll just quickly show what Energize does. So she can proc it. But it doesn't seem to be doing anything for her. So let's fully drain our shield. So you would you would think if Energize is working, we would get huge chunks of our shield while proccing Energize. Which you can hear from the sound effects. Alright, so let's do that. So see, it's just going up slowly. No, no huge chunks are happening there. That leads me to believe that Energize is doing absolutely nothing for her. Um, let's quickly do it one more time. Go slowly but surely. We're getting tons of Energize procs in there, and it's not really doing much. So yeah, I, I can't really recommend Energize for her, um, unless you just want to support your teammates and have it do absolutely nothing for you. Okay. So what's the next comment we got? Uh, that's not working. Okay. I say ditch overextend and put Prime Vigor. That's honestly not a bad suggestion at all. Um, the main problem I have with that is that for one. Overextended really makes it so our Balefire hits a ton of enemies, which I value pretty highly. And second, Hildren only has 225 health at base, at max rank. For comparison's sake, guys, uh, normal Nyx has 300 health. So the amount of value we're getting out of adding a mod that increases our health is pretty low. But you would think, well, maybe we'll let you survive some Toxin procs then. Uh, honestly, it doesn't really help. Against a high-ish level enemy, the Toxin procs are still going to kill you in one hit. Uh, regardless of if you have um, additional health on there. It does give us a little bit more shield, which is fun, um, but we're getting about 100 more health. So let's quickly just try that again against that um, Toxic Ancient. And, I, and I'm not saying that it's like completely useless to put Prime Vigor on her, but um, 
I don't think you're gonna be getting as much value out of it as you you really want to, sadly. I see a 360 health. This isn't a very good um, comparison because this guy's been one-shotting us like no problem anyway. So yeah, uh, you you can use it. Don't don't get me wrong. You can use it, but I am not gonna recommend it. I think overextended has more value here, but we do get to bump up our strength a little bit more too, uh, increasing the. Uh, damage of our one even more and increasing the armor removal so for example if we took off overextended on our previous build and put prime vigor in that slot we'd go from 50 percent um armor removal to 61 percent armor removal and that's with taking off umbral intensify so if you were to put even more formas on here uh, you could fit umbral intensify on actually we can already fit that nice so that's 65 percent armor removal um and then Veilfire gets about 300 ish more base damage so, yeah, this is definitely an alternative if you have Prime Vigor. Uh, Normal Vigor is a pretty weak mod, in my opinion. So, um, I don't know if I'd recommend that one. It's uh, 120. They're, they're both not the most powerful mods, honestly. But, um, yeah. It's not something I'm going to personally recommend. Okay, so good comment. Thank you for that. And then, the final comment is, So do Toxic Ancients at level 100 plus just one-shot you if you're not careful? Uh, the level 50 Toxic Ancient is actually one-shotting us right now. So, yeah, that's just a big yikes for Hildren, guys. Um, it's just shields, honestly. It's not the frame, it's the mechanics around the frame. Shields are just bad in this game, and it's not Hildren's fault, it's just DE's fault. Um, I don't even think if they added shield getting it would matter, it's because... The, the damage types ignoring her, her shield altogether really are just, like, cheating, basically. And making it so she can't really hang with the big dogs like Anaros and Trin. So, yeah, thanks for everyone that commented on the video. Um, that was pleasant. I saw a lot of people who were like, Endgame, level 50, re No, dude, come on. Like, you're not going to see those enemies unless you're going, like, an hour plus in a survival. And even then, like, don't bring Hildren there. There's no build that's going to save you there. Uh, if you're just going to be like a support pretty much. So I'm not going to recommend that you bring Hildren two hours into survival ever. Um, unless they completely change how toxin products work with her. Uh, can't recommend it, guys. So yeah, hopefully this video was uh, useful to you guys. I'm just, I wanted to show you that I don't ignore these comments. I, I do take these things into account, and I have tested many of these things before the video even comes out. Okay, so um, yeah. Going forward, I'll be uh, doing some more videos on some weapons. And maybe some arcanes. Uh, there's some arcane combinations I still have not put out videos on that I've been enjoying. So keep an eye out for those. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, and have a great day, guys. Peace.